Okay, in this video I'm just going to do uh, one more example of writing an absolute value in interval notation. This one's a little more challenging because it's not just x in the in the absolute value sign. Um, I'm not sure if any of, of the ones in our, in our book are going to be this challenging or this like this, but uh, it's, it's good to know in case you ever have to do it in the future. Um, so again, you're just going to have to split this up into case 1 in case 2. And those two cases come from, remember, absolute value of a equals a if a is bigger than or equal to 0 and negative a if a is less than 0. So these are two cases. Anytime you have an absolute value, you're you, you should be thinking about these two cases. Um, but remember, or in this case, a is an actual expression. a is equal to x minus 5. So case 1 would be if a is bigger than 0, or bigger than or equal to 0, sorry, which means x minus 5 is bigger than or equal to 0. So just to simplify that case, that would mean x is bigger than or equal to 5. Okay, so case 1 occurs when x is bigger than or equal to 5. So now we'll write it like this, because this is the case we're dealing with. Um, that means that absolute value of x minus 5 is less than 10. Well, when does that happen? Well, since we're in the, the positive case, um, absolute value of x minus 5 is the same as x minus 5 less than 10, which means x is less than 10 plus 5, which means x is less than 15. So x is bigger than or equal to 5. Maybe I should do a number line over here. 0 will be here. 5, 10, 15. So x is bigger than or equal to 5. So bigger than or equal to 5, but less than 15. So that means it's between 5 and 15. Um, includes 5 but does not include 15. Okay, so it's all these numbers in here. So putting that together, therefore, um, x is less than 15, but bigger than or equal to 5. So that's the interval from case 1. Interval from case 2, um, remember case 2 is a is less than 0, and remember a is x minus 5. So x minus 5 is less than 0, which means x is less than 5. Um, now looking at sort of the interval or the inequality we were given, because we're case 2, because this thing is a negative, a absolute value of a becomes negative a. So it'll be negative x minus 5 is less than 10. Um, so let's expand this bracket. Negative x plus 5, right, negative, negative, positive, less than 10, means negative x less than 10 minus 5, negative x less than 5, uh, divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1, you have to uh, reverse the inequality, so x is bigger than negative 5. So x is less than 5, but bigger than negative 5. So negative 5 is here. So we don't include negative 5, and we don't include 5, although 5's already been included in the other interval, and it's everything in between. So the interval we're looking at here goes from negative 5 to 15 and it includes all the numbers. Right? It does include 5 because it included 5 here. Uh, actually, maybe I should just case 2 was this one. So um, bigger than negative 5 but less than 5. So putting these two intervals together, that's what we've got on our number line up there. Therefore, um, we're going from negative 5, not including negative 5, to 
15, or an interval notation x would be an element of the interval from negative 5 to 15. Okay, so if you follow these uh, sort of steps, any you could solve any inequality involving uh, absolute values.